Yes, the Rainbow Warrior, the third version of it actually is uh, one of the most famous ships in the world. And it is a symbol of hope, also a symbol of courage. Because when we face the biggest environmental problems today, we need, we need so much courage. And that's what we hope to bring here in Malaysia, to inspire people to take action on the biggest environmental issues we face globally, but also things that we face here in Malaysia, like deforestation, climate change, plastics pollution, uh, the, uh, the problem with air quality and, uh, and uh, climate and energy. When We, we all want to confront all of these problems. And here in Malaysia, that's what Greenpeace wants. So looks forward to working with a wide range of, of, uh, of people, from government to business to individuals. We want to be able to work. Uh, closely with, uh, with, with the people of Malaysia. Is this the first time Rainbow Warrior has come to Malaysia? This is the first time that the Rainbow Warrior has come to Malaysia and uh, this is a very historic visit. Okay, so um, was there a reason uh, why, Malaysia was, as in, like, why Malaysia was chosen? Uh, like, why, why did Greenpeace choose to bring the boat to Malaysia? Well, Greenpeace as an environmental international organization looks at the whole of Southeast Asia as a very important battleground if we are to win uh, the world's biggest environmental problems, especially climate change, the fight against dirty energy, uh, nuclear energy that's uh, be still being uh, promoted in some parts of the world, and, uh, and pollution. This is, uh, Malaysia is very crucial in building the regional consensus as well as global consensus. We do think that the, the time of the arrival of uh, the Rainbow War in Malaysia is very, very opportune and timely with the uh, changes in the Malaysian government. And we do think there's hope uh, for Malaysia to be uh, very instrumental in confronting all of these big environmental problems. Um, as far as far as we we gather, it's it's pretty much the same kind of uh, bureaucratic problems that we face in most of the countries that we've visited. So we wouldn't we wouldn't we wouldn't think that Malaysia is extra special in terms of the challenges we face. But the Rainbow Warrior, being an activist or a ship, uh, has always faced some challenges, and uh, and we see that's part of uh, the the mindset that we want to change in this world. That, that we want to welcome a ship like Rainbow Warrior because it brings hope, it, it, it brings uh, to, the, to the fore uh, the, the brutal problems that we face and I think we just have to be very frank and honest with each other. The Rainbow Warrior is here also to bear witness to environmental problems, environmental crimes that's happening all around us. So yeah, challenges will be there every, every, every time the Rainbow Warrior comes to visit any country. And we understand that Greenpeace in Malaysia is only one year old or slightly a bit more than that, is that correct? Well, we've been registered in Malaysia since 2015, um, but we launched our office one year ago. Now we have uh, the Rainbow Warrior visiting Malaysia. I, I think this marks uh, an era of, for Greenpeace to continue working much more stronger in Malaysia with, with, uh, with, with civil society here and with a new government. Even with that, we see quite a lot of people coming today. I mean, like, uh, but also I think there's an interest in the name of Rainbow Warrior, like why is it called Rainbow Warrior? Yes, the Rainbow Warrior name comes from a book called Warriors of the Rainbow. And uh, this is the third version of this ship. So the first ship that, that, that was sailing through the 1970s up to the, the, the time it was, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was bombed in 1985. And then the second Rainbow Warrior started sailing in 1989 all the way to uh, 2010. This is this, the name Rainbow Warrior uh, speaks about uh, people who are caring for this planet and of course it, it also refers to uh, the tradition of indigenous people in uh, uh, in Canada about uh, and, 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 the, and the First Nations who uh, who are also called warriors of the rainbow. Now, we, we all think that all people who care about this planet and the future generations are rainbow warriors.